In this question, we have an indium ion, IN3+, plus, and we're trying to figure out our electron configuration. So let's start by looking at indium in our periodic table. Here it is all the way down here. And if we look at our atomic number, that's this number in the top left of the box, it's 49. That means indium has 49 protons. And since it's asking first about a neutral indium atom, the number of protons and electrons are the same. So since indium has 49 protons in a neutral indium atom, there would also be 49 electrons. Then it asks how many electrons are in an indium ion, indium three plus. Three plus means it's lost three electrons. So if it was 49 and we lost three, we end up with 46 electrons in our indium ion. Okay. Final step is to figure out our electron configuration for indium using noble gas notation. Now to do that first, I'm going to figure out my uh, overall electron configuration for an indium atom. And then I'm going to remove three electrons to get my indium ion. So let's go ahead and write out our energy sublevels. We've got 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 3d. 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f, 5s, 5p, 5d, 5f, etc. This goes on for 6, 7. We're going to stop there for now. And same as usual, it's those diagonal arrows that tell us the order in which these are going to be filled. So we'll use that as we're writing our electron configuration. Okay, so... Let's go ahead, we've got 49 electrons in total. So first we've got our 1s subshell. That can fit up to two electrons. So we've got 1s with two electrons in it. Then our 2s sub energy level, that can fit two electrons as well. Next we've got 2p, that can fit up to six electrons. So far we've got 10 electrons. We need to get all the way up to 49, so we've got ages to go, so let's keep going. Next is 3s. 3s can fit up to 2. Then 3p. 3p can fit up to 6. So there we've got 18 electrons in total. Let's keep going. Next is 4s. 4s can fit 2. Then we skip to back down to 3d. 3d can fit up to 10. So there we've got 30 electrons used up so far. We still need 19 more. After 3D, we've got 4P. That can fit up to six electrons. So that's 36 electrons so far. Next is the 5S to be filled. That's 38 electrons. Let's keep going with our arrows down here. So after we filled 5s, we're gonna fill 4d, and then it would be the 5p next. So in 4d, we're gonna have 10 electrons. Because so far, let's just do our count again. We've got two, four, 10, 12, 18, 20, 36, 38. We've used up 38 electrons so far. We need to get to 49. We've got 11 electrons left to add. 4D can add 10, total of 10 electrons in there. And then we've got one electron left to add, which is going to go into the 5P. So we end up with 5P with one electron in it. Okay. So there's our atom, our indium atom. But we need the indium iron, which is 3 plus. So we're going to remove three electrons. And when we remove electrons, they come from the highest energy level, our valence shell. They don't come from the highest sublevel. So when we remove three, the first one's going to come out here from the 5p subshell. Then the next two, since we need to remove three total, they're not going to come from 4d. They're going to come from 5s. They're coming from our valence, uh, valence shell, which is energy level 5. So they don't come from 4D here, they're coming from 5. The reason why is that it's more stable to have this electron configuration with a full 4D subshell rather than taking 
two out of there and having a partially full 4D subshell and a full 5S subshell. Okay, great. So we're done writing our electron configuration. The last step is that it wants it in noble gas formation. So let's head to our periodic table. We found indium there. The noble gas that has less electrons than indium is krypton, which is here. Krypton has 36 electrons. So let's figure out if we had 36 electrons, that would be 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36. So this whole part of our electron configuration has 36 electrons, which as we can see here is the number of electrons in a neutral krypton atom. Then we're just left with the 4D10 as our extra electrons there. So we're gonna choose krypton. The 5S subshell is empty because we removed electrons from that to form our iron. The 4D subshell has 10 electrons in it. Oops, that should be 4D there, not 3D. There we go, 4D subshell has 10 electrons and the 5P is also empty. So it's important to remember our electrons are removed from the highest energy level first, not the highest sub-level. So here they're coming from five, they don't come out of the four there, even though we filled that one first.